और टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट नोटिफाइड अबाउट ऑफ फ्यूचर वीडियोस टू द क्वेश्चंस क्वेश्चन वन योर कंपनी हैज ए माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 ई फाइव सब्सक्रिप्शन द चीफ कंप्लाइंस ऑफिसर प्लान्स टू एनहांस प्राइवेसी मैनेजमेंट इन द वर्किंग एनवायरमेंट यू नीड टू रिकमेंड अ सोल्यूशन to enhance the privacy management the solution must meet the following requirements identify unused personal data and empower users to make smart data handling decisions provide users with notifications and guidance when a user sends personal data in microsoft teams provide users with recommendations to mitigate privacy risks what should you include in the recommendation our options are a communication compliance in insider risk management b microsoft viva insights c privacy risk management in microsoft priva or d advanced e discovery the correct option here is c privacy risk management in Microsoft Priva Privacy Risk Management in Microsoft Priva gives you the capability to set up policies that identify privacy risks in your Microsoft 365 environment and enable easy remediation Privacy Risk Management policies are meant to be internal guides and can help you detect overexposed personal data so that users can secure it spot and limit transfers of personal data across departments or regional borders help users identify and reduce the amount of unused personal data that you store question 2 you have an azure subscription that has microsoft defender for cloud enabled suspicious authentication activity alerts have been appearing in the workload protections dashboard you need to recommend a solution to evaluate and remediate the alerts by using workflow automation the solution must minimize development effort what should you include in the recommendation our options are a azure monitor webhooks b azure event hubs c azure functions apps or d Azure Logics apps The correct option is D Azure Logics apps The workflow automation feature of Microsoft Defender for Cloud feature can trigger logic apps on security alerts recommendations and changes to regulatory compliance Note Azure Logic apps is a cloud based platform for creating and running automated workflows that integrate your apps data services and systems with this platform you can quickly develop highly scalable integration solutions for your enterprise and business to business scenarios question 3 your company is moving a big data solution to azure the company plans to use the following storage workloads azure storage blob containers azure data lake storage gen2 Azure Storage File Shares, Azure Disk Storage. Which two storage workloads support authentication by using Azure Active Directory? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note: Each correct selection is worth one point. The correct options are C and D. That is Azure Storage Blob Containers. and azure data lake storage gen2 about option c azure storage supports using azure active directory to authorize requests to blob data with azure ad you can use azure role based access control to grant permissions to a security principal which may be a user group or application services principal the security principal is authenticated by azure ad to return an oauth 2.0 token the token can then be used to authorize a request against the blob service
you can scope access to Azure Blob resource at the following levels. Beginning with the narrowest scope, an individual container. At this scope, a role assignment applies to all of the blobs in the container as well as container properties and metadata, the storage account, the resource group, the subscription, and a management group. About option D, you can securely access data in an Azure Data Lake Storage Gen2 account using OAuth 2.0 token with an Azure Active Directory application service principle for authentication. Using a service principle for authentication provides two options for accessing data in your storage account. A mount point to a specific file or path, direct access to data. Question 4. Hotspot. Your company is migrating data to Azure. The data contains personally identifiable information. The company plans to use Microsoft Information Protection for the PII data stored in Azure. You need to recommend a solution to discover PII data at risk in the Azure resources. What should you include in the recommendation? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, to connect the Azure data sources to Microsoft Information Protection. Our options are Azure Purview, Endpoint Data Loss Prevention, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, Microsoft Information Protection. The correct option is Azure Purview. To the next statement, to try age security alerts related to resources that contain PII data. Our options are Azure Monitor, Endpoint Data Loss Prevention, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. The correct option is Microsoft Defender for Cloud. About the options, Box 1, Azure Purview. Microsoft Purview is a unified data governance service that helps you manage and govern your on-premises, multi-cloud and software-as-a-service data. Microsoft Purview allows you to create a holistic up-to-date map of your data landscape with automated data discovery, sensitive data classification and end-to-end -end data lineage. Enable data curators to manage and secure your data estate. Empower data consumers to find valuable, trustworthy data. About Box 2, Microsoft Purview provides rich insights into the sensitivity of your data. This makes it valuable to security teams using Microsoft Defender for Cloud to manage the organization's security posture and protect against threats to their workloads. Data resources remain a popular target for malicious actors, making it crucial for security teams to identify, prioritize, and secure sensitive data resources across their cloud environments. The integration with Microsoft Purview expands visibility into the data layer, enabling security teams to prioritize resources that contain sensitive data. Question 5. You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription and an Azure subscription. You are designing a Microsoft deployment. You need to recommend a solution for the security operations team. The solution must include custom views and a dashboard for analyzing security events. What should you recommend using in Microsoft Sentinel? Our options are A. Notebooks B. Playbooks C. Workbooks or D. Threat Intelligence The correct option is C. Workbooks. After you connected your data sources to Microsoft Sentinel, you get instant visualization and analysis of data so that you can know what's happening across all your connected data sources. Microsoft Sentinel gives you workbooks that provide you with the full power of tools already available in Azure as well as tables and charts that are built in to provide you with analytics 
for your logs and queries. You can either use built-in workbooks or create a new workbook easily from scratch or based on an existing workbook. Question 6. Your company has a Microsoft 365 subscription and uses Microsoft Defender for identity. You are informed about incidents that relate to compromised identities. You need to recommend a solution to expose several accounts for attackers to exploit. When the attackers attempt to exploit the accounts, an alert must be triggered. Which Defender for Identity feature should you include in the recommendation? Our options are A. Sensitivity Labels B. Custom User Tags C. Standalone Sensors or D. Honey Token Entity Tags The correct option is D. Honey Token Entity Tags Honey Token Entities are used as traps for malicious actors. Any authentication associated with these Honey Token Entities triggers an alert. Question 7. Your company is moving all on-premises workloads to Azure and Microsoft 365. You need to design a security orchestration, automation and response strategy in Microsoft Sentinel that meets the following requirements. Minimizes manual intervention by security operation analysts. Supports tri-aging alerts within Microsoft Teams channels. What should you include? In the strategy, our options are A. KQL B. Playbooks C. Data Connectors or D. Workbooks The correct option is B. Playbooks Playbooks in Microsoft Sentinel are based on workflows built in Azure Logic Apps, a cloud service that helps you schedule, automate and orchestrate tasks and workflows across systems throughout the enterprise. A playbook is a collection of these remediation actions that can be run from Microsoft Sentinel as a routine. A playbook can help automate and orchestrate your threat response. It can be run manually or set to run automatically in response to specific alerts or incidents when triggered by an analytics rule or an automation rule respectively. Question 8. You have an Azure subscription that contains virtual machines, storage accounts and Azure SQL databases. All resources are backed up multiple times a day by using Azure Backup. You are developing a strategy to protect against ransomware attacks. You need to recommend which controls must be enabled to ensure that Azure Backup can be used to restore the resources in the event of a successful ransomware attack. Which two controls should you include in the recommendation? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Our options are A. Enable soft delete for backups B. Require pins for critical operations C. Encrypt backups by using customer managed keys D. Perform offline backups to Azure data box or E. Use Azure Monitor notifications when backup configurations change. The correct options are A and B that is enable soft delete for backups and require pins for critical operations. Keywords are controls and ensure. So A and B both are the answer. Question 9. Hotspot. You are creating the security recommendations for an Azure App Service web app named App1. App1 has the following specifications. Users will request access to App1 through the My Apps portal. A human resources manager will approve the requests. Users will authenticate by using Azure Active Directory user accounts. You need to recommend an access security architecture for App1. What should you include? In the recommendation. To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, to enable Azure AD authentication for App 1, use 
our options are azure ad application azure ad application proxy azure application gateway a managed identity in azure ad microsoft defender for app the correct option is azure ad application to the next statement to implement access requests for app 1 use our options are an access package in identity governance an access policy in microsoft defender for cloud apps an access review in identity governance azure ad conditional access app control an oauth app policy in microsoft defender for cloud apps the correct option is an access package in identity governance question 10 you have an azure subscription that contains multiple virtual machines you are designing a mitigation plan to address the risk of security threats for the virtual machines you plan to implement azure update manager you need to include a statement in the design that describes how update manager can mitigate the risk of security threats which statement should you include select only one answer our options are a automates secure application development b enables the efficient deployment of critical security updates c provides detailed log analysis for security events or d provides just in time access to azure resources the correct option is b enables the efficient deployment of critical security updates update manager helps to deploy critical security patches quickly reducing time of exposure for those vulnerabilities detailed log analysis is important in the detection and investigation chain but can take some time to analyze and is unrelated to what update manager provides question 11 your company has a third party security information and event management solution that uses splunk and microsoft sentinel you plan to integrate microsoft sentinel with splunk you need to recommend a solution to send security events from microsoft sentinel to splunk what should you include in the recommendation our options are a a microsoft sentinel data connector b azure event hubs c a microsoft sentinel workbook or d azure data factory the correct option is b azure event hubs question 12 a customer follows the zero trust model and explicitly verifies each attempt to access its corporate applications the customer discovers that several endpoints are infected with malware the customer suspends access attempts from the infected endpoints the malware is removed from the endpoints which two conditions must be met before endpoint users can access the corporate applications again each correct answer presents part of the solution note each correct selection is worth one point our options are a the client access tokens are refreshed b microsoft intune reports the endpoints as compliant c a new azure active directory conditional access policy is enforced or d microsoft defender for endpoint reports the endpoints as compliant the correct options are a and b that is the client access tokens are refreshed and microsoft intune reports the endpoints as compliant best answers are a b my decision is based on ms guideline next we can configure device based conditional access policies in intune to enforce restrictions based on device health and compliance this will allow us to enforce more granular access decisions and fine tune the conditional access policies based on your organization's risk appetite for example we might want to exclude certain device platforms from accessing specific apps question 13 
hotspot you have a microsoft 365 subscription and an azure subscription microsoft 365 defender and microsoft defender for cloud are enabled the azure subscription contains a microsoft sentinel workspace microsoft sentinel data connectors are configured for microsoft 365 microsoft 365 defender defender for cloud and azure you plan to deploy azure virtual machines that will run windows server you need to enable extended detection and response and security orchestration automation and response capabilities for microsoft sentinel how should you recommend enabling each capability to answer select the appropriate options in the answer area note each correct selection is worth one point to the answer area adr our options are add a microsoft sentinel data connector for azure active directory add a microsoft sentinel data connector for microsoft defender for cloud apps onboard the servers to azure arc onboard the servers to defender for cloud the correct option is onboard the servers to defender for cloud to the next statement soar our options are configure microsoft sentinel analytics rules configure microsoft sentinel playbooks configure regulatory compliance standards in defender for cloud configure workflow automation in defender for cloud the correct option is configure microsoft sentinel playbooks about the options box one extended detection and response is a new approach defined by industrial analytics that are designed to deliver intelligent automated and integrated security across domains to help defenders connect seemingly disparate alerts and get ahead of attackers as part of this announcement we are unifying all xdr technologies under the microsoft defender brand the new microsoft defender is the most comprehensive xdr in the market today and prevents detects and responds to threats across identities endpoints applications email iot infrastructure and cloud platforms about box 2 as a sore platform its primary purposes are to automate and the recurring and predictable enrichment response and the remediation tasks that are the responsibility of security operation centers leveraging soar frees up time and resources for more in-depth investigation of and hunting for advanced threats automation takes a few different forms in microsoft sentinel from automation rules that centrally manage the automation of incident handling and response to playbooks that run predetermined sequences of actions to provide robust and flexible advanced automation to your threat response tasks question 14 you have a customer that has a microsoft 365 subscription and uses the free edition of azure active directory the customer plans to obtain an azure subscription and provision several azure resources you need to evaluate the customer's security environment what will necessitate an upgrade from azure ad free edition to the premium edition our options are a azure ad privileged identity management b role based authorization c resource based authorization or d azure ad multi factor authentication the correct option here is a pim is correct mfa can be enabled on azure ad free using security defaults pim is the correct option question 14 you have an azure subscription that contains data stored in azure storage you need to design a strategy to protect the data against ransomware attacks the strategy must follow microsoft security best practices and minimize the monetary incentive of attacks what should be done first select only one answer our options are a enforce multi-factor authentication b implement secure backups c prepare a 
प्रिविलेज एक्सेस स्ट्रेटेजी और डी प्रिपेयर अ रिकवरी प्लान द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज डी प्रिपेयर अ रिकवरी प्लान प्रिपेयरिंग अ रैनसम वेयर रिकवरी प्लान इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप टू मिनिमाइज द मॉनिटरी इंसेंटिव ऑफ रैनसम वेयर अटैक प्रिपेयरिंग ए प्रिविलेज एक्सेस स्ट्रेटेजी एंड इनफोर्सिंग एम एफ ए इज इंपॉर्टेंट बट दे आर मोर स्पेसिफिक टू मिटिगेटिंग अगेंस्ट रैनसम वेयर अटैक्स इंप्लीमेंटिंग सिक्योर बैकअप इज ऑल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट बट डज नॉट स्पेसिफिकली फाइट रैनसम वेयर क्वेश्चन सिक्सटीन यू हैव एन अज्यूर सब्सक्रिप्शन दैट कंटेन्स एस क्यू एल सर्वर ऑन अज्यूर वर्चुअल मशीन यू डिस्कवर दैट ए रैनसम वेयर इंसिडेंट हैज अकर्ड यू नीड टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू द रैनसम वेयर इंसिडेंट बाई यूजिंग माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डिटेक्शन एंड रिस्पॉन्स टीम गाइडेंस द सोल्यूशन मस्ट मिनिमाइज द रिस्क ऑफ डिसरप्टिंग ऑन गोइंग बिजनेस ऑपरेशन वट शुड यू डू फर्स्ट सिलेक्ट ओनली वन आंसर अवर ऑप्शन आर ए असेस द स्कोप ऑफ द इंसिडेंट बी डिसेबल ऑल प्रिविलेज यूजर अकाउंट सी रिस्टोर क्रिटिकल डाटा फ्रॉम ए बैकअप डी रिव्यू ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल प्रोसेस एंड अपडेट दैम टू मीट करंट सिक्योरिटी स्टैंडर्ड्स और ई रन ए फुल एंटी वायरस स्कैन विद माइक्रोसॉफ्ट सेफ्टी स्कैनर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज ए असेस द स्कोप ऑफ द इंसिडेंट द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन द डार्ट गाइडेंस इज कंटेनमेंट बाय फर्स्ट असेसिंग द स्कोप ऑफ द इंसिडेंट वंस यू हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द स्कोप ऑफ द अटैक यू कैन देन टेक एक्शन बाय प्रिजर्विंग द एग्जिस्टिंग सिस्टम्स एंड देन Establish the recovery process. Question seventeen: Your company is developing a serverless application in Azure that will have the architecture shown in the following exhibit. You need to recommend a solution to isolate the compute components on an Azure virtual network. What should you include in the recommendation? Our options are: A. Azure AD enterprise applications. B. an azure app service environment c azure service endpoints or d an azure active directory application proxy the correct option is b an azure app service environment the azure app service environment v2 is an azure app service feature that provides a fully isolated and dedicated environment for securely running app service apps at high scale this capability can host your windows web apps linux web apps docker containers mobile apps about the functions app service environments are appropriate for application workloads that require very high scale isolation and secure network access high memory utilization customers can create multiple ascs within a single azure region or across multiple azure regions this flexibility makes ascs ideal for horizontally scaling stateless application tiers in support of high requests per second workload question 18 hotspot you are planning the security levels for a security access strategy you need to identify which job roles to configure at which security levels the solution must meet security best practices of the microsoft cyber security reference architectures which security level should you configure for each job role to answer select the appropriate options in the answer area note each correct selection is worth 1 point to the answer area developer our options are enterprise security privileged security specialized security the correct option is specialized security to the next statement standard user our options are enterprise security privileged security specialized security the correct option is enterprise security to the next statement it administrator our options are enterprise security privileged security specialized security the correct option is privileged security question 19 your company plans to apply the zero trust rapid modernization plan to its it environment you need to recommend the top 3 modernization areas to prioritize as part of the plan which three areas should you recommend based on ramp each correct answer 
presents part of the solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Our options are A. Data compliance and governance B. Infrastructure and development C. User access and productivity D. Operational technology and IoT E. Modern security operations The correct options are A, C and E that is data, compliance and governance, user access and productivity, and modern security operations. Question 20. Hotspot. For a Microsoft Cloud environment, you are designing a security architecture based on the Microsoft Cybersecurity Reference Architectures. You need to protect against the following external threats of an attack chain. An attacker attempts to exfiltrate data to external websites. An attacker attempts lateral movement across domain joint computers. What should you include in the recommendation for each threat? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, an attacker attempts to exfiltrate data to external websites. Our options are Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, Microsoft Defender for Identity, Microsoft Defender for Office 365. The correct option is Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. To the next statement, an attacker attempts lateral movement across domain joint computers. Our options are Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, Microsoft Defender for, for Identity, Microsoft Defender for Office 365. The correct option is Microsoft Defender for Identity. Question 21. For an Azure deployment, you are designing a security architecture based on the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. You need to recommend a best practice for implementing service accounts for Azure API management. What should you include in the recommendation? Our options are A. Application registrations in Azure AD B. Managed identities in Azure C. Azure Service Principles with Usernames and Passwords D. Device Registrations in Azure AD or E. Azure Service Principles with Certificate Credentials The correct option is B. Managed Identities in Azure According to Microsoft's documentation, Managed Identities in Azure is the recommended best practice for implementing service accounts in Azure API management. Managed identities provide a secure and scalable way to manage authentication for service accounts, improving security and reducing administrative overhead. Question 22. You have an Azure AD tenant that syncs with an Active Directory domain service domain. Client computers run Windows and are hybrid joined to Azure AD. You are designing a strategy to protect endpoints against ransomware. The strategy follows Microsoft security best practices. You plan to remove all the domain accounts from the administrators group on the Windows computers. You need to recommend a solution that will provide users with administrative access to the Windows computers only when access is required. The solution must minimize the lateral movement of ransomware attacks if an administrator account on a computer is compromised. What should you include in the recommendation? Our options are A. Local Administrator Password Solution B. Azure AD Identity Protection C. Azure AD Privileged Identity Management or D. Privileged Access Workstations The correct option is A. Local Administrator Password Solution Granting user access to their PC is not the typical use case for LAPS. Admins use it for troubleshooting or as a break glass account. But PIM is explicitly not meant to do it. Question 23. Drag drop. For a Microsoft Cloud environment, you need to recommend a security architecture that follows the zero trust principles of the Microsoft cybersecurity reference architectures. Which security methodologies should you include in the recommendation? To answer, 
ਡਰੈਗ ਦੀ ਅਪਰੋਪਰੀਏਟ ਮੈਥੋਡੋਲੋਜੀ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਕਰੈਕਟ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲਸ ਈਚ ਮੈਥੋਡੋਲੋਜੀ ਮੇ ਬੀ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਵਨਸ ਮੋਰ ਦੈਨ ਵਨਸ ਔਰ ਨਾਟ ਐਟ ਆਲ ਯੂ ਮੇ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਡਰੈਗ ਦਾ ਸਪਲਿਟ ਬਾਰ ਬਿਟਵੀਨ ਪੇਂਸ ਔਰ ਸਕਰੋਲ ਟੂ ਵਿਊ ਕੰਟੈਂਟ ਨੋਟ ਈਚ ਕਰੈਕਟ ਸਿਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਵਰਥ 1 ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਦਾ ਮੈਥੋਡੋਲੋਜੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡਡ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਆਰ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਟੀ ਡਾਟਾ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਜਸਟ ਇਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਕਸੈਸ ਔਰ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟਿੰਗ ਐਕਸੈਸ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਆਨਸਰ ਏਰੀਆ ਅਜ਼ਿਊਮ ਬ੍ਰੀਚ ਦਾ ਕਰੈਕਟ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟਿੰਗ ਐਕਸੈਸ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਵੈਰੀਫਾਈ ਐਕਸਪਲਿਸਿਟਲੀ ਦਾ ਕਰੈਕਟ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਡਾਟਾ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਿਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਲਾਸਟ ਸਟੇਟਮੈਂਟ ਯੂਜ਼ ਲੀਸਟ ਪ੍ਰਿਵਿਲੇਜ ਐਕਸੈਸ ਦਾ ਕਰੈਕਟ ਆਪਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਜਸਟ ਇਨ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਕਸੈਸ question 24 you have legacy operational technology devices and iot devices you need to recommend best practices for applying zero trust principles to the ot and iot devices based on the microsoft cyber security reference architectures the solution must minimize the risk of disrupting business operations which two security methodologies should you include in the recommendation age correct answer presents part of the solution note each correct selection is worth one point our options are a active scanning b threat monitoring c software patching or d passive traffic monitoring the correct options are b and d that is threat monitoring and passive traffic monitoring from mcra slide 17 many well established it security best practices like software patching aren't practical or fully effective in an ot environment so they can only be selectively applied basic security hygiene for ot starts with network isolation threat monitoring and carefully managing vendor access risk bd is the answer ot security hygiene is different because these systems frequently weren't built with the modern threats and protocols in mind question 25 you have an on premises network and a microsoft 365 subscription you are designing a zero trust security strategy which two security controls should you include as part of this zero trust solution each correct answer presents part of the solution note each correct answer is worth one point our options are a always allow connections from the on premises network b disable password less sign in for sensitive accounts c block sign in attempts from unknown locations or d block sign in attempts from non compliant devices the correct option for this question are c and d MRCA slide 15 recommends using passwordless so B is wrong the top priority is to require strong multi factor authentication attackers have easy availability to compromised username or passwords and commonly used passwords so organization must prioritize moving beyond password only authentication as their first step question 26 you are designing a ransomware response plan that follows microsoft security best practices you need to recommend a solution to minimize the risk of a ransomware attack encrypting local user files what should you include in the recommendation our options are a windows defender device guard b microsoft defender for endpoint c azure files d bitlocker drive encryption or e protected folders the correct option is e protected folders question 27 you have an azure ad tenant that syncs with an active directory domain services domain you are designing an azure devops solution to deploy applications to an azure subscription by using continuous integration and continuous deployment pipelines you need to recommend which types of identities to use for the deployment credentials of the service connection the solution must follow devsecops best practices
from the Microsoft Cloud Adoption Framework for Azure. What should you recommend? Our options are A. A managed identity in Azure B. An Azure AD user account that has role assignments in Azure AD privileged identity management C. A group managed service account or D. An Azure AD user account that has a password stored in Azure Key Vault The correct option is A. A managed identity in Azure Question 28. You have an Azure Kubernetes service cluster that hosts Linux nodes. You need to recommend a solution to ensure that deployed worker nodes have the latest kernel updates. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you recommend? Our options are A. The nodes must restart after the updates are applied. B. The updates must first be applied to the image used to provision the nodes or C. The AKS cluster version must be upgraded. The correct option here is B. The updates must first be applied to the image used to provision the nodes. Question 29. You have the following on-premises servers that run Windows Server. Two domain controllers in an, in an Active Directory domain services domain, two application servers named Server 1 and Server 2 that run ASP.NET web apps, a VPN server named Served that authenticates by using Radius and ADDS, and users use a VPN to access the web apps over the internet. You need to redesign a user access solution to increase the security of the connections to the web apps. The solution must minimize the attack surface and follow the zero trust principles of the Microsoft cybersecurity reference architectures. What should you include in the recommendation? Our options are A. Publish the web apps by using Azure AD application proxy. B. Configure the VPN to use Azure AD authentication. C. Configure connectors and rules in Microsoft Defender for cloud apps or D. Configure web protection in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. The correct option is A. Publish the web apps by using Azure AD application proxy. The Zero Trust model emphasizes never trusting and always verifying regardless of whether something is inside or outside the corporate network. It minimizes reliance on traditional network security boundaries and instead focuses on identities, endpoints, and resources. In the given scenario, the main goal is to increase the security of connections to the web apps, aligning with the zero trust principles. Option A would align well with these requirements. Azure AD application proxy provides secure remote access to your on-premises applications. It allows users to access their apps from anywhere without having to connect to the VPN and enables additional security features like conditional access and MFA. This solution minimizes the attack surface by eliminating the need to expose the web applications directly to the internet and follows the zero trust principles of MCRA, making it the appropriate recommendation. So, the correct answer is A. Question 30. Hotspot You have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription that uses Microsoft Purview, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive for business. You need to recommend a ransomware protection solution that meets the following requirements. Mitigates attacks that make copies of files, encrypt the copies, and then delete the original files. Mitigates attacks that encrypt files in place. Minimizes administrative effort. What should you include in the recommendation? To answer, Select the appropriate options in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, to mitigate attacks that make copies of files, encrypt the copies, and then delete the original files, use Our options are Data loss prevention policies, the recycle bin, versioning. The correct option is the recycle bin. To the next statement, 
to mitigate attacks that encrypt files in place, use our options are DLP policies, the recycle bin, versioning. The correct option is versioning. Question 31. You are designing a security operation strategy based on the zero trust framework. You need to minimize the operational load on tier 1 Microsoft Security Operation Center analysts. What should you do? Our options are A. Enable built-in compliance policies in Azure policy. B. Enable self-healing in Microsoft 365 Defender. C. Automate data classification. Or D. Create hunting queries in Microsoft 365 Defender. The correct option is B. Enable self-healing in Microsoft 365 Defender. Question 32. You are designing a resiliency strategy aimed at minimizing the impact of ransomware attacks against an Azure environment. You need to describe the primary purpose and significance behind implementing network segmentation. Which purpose should you include in the design? Select only one answer. Our options are A. To increase the speed of data transfers B. To limit the literal movement of ransomware C. To reduce the number of devices and D. To test new software The correct option is B. To limit the lateral movement of ransomware The primary purpose of implementing network segmentation in a ransomware resiliency strategy is to limit the lateral movement of ransomware within a network. This helps contain the impact of a ransomware infection by isolating affected segments from the rest of the network. Question 33. You are evaluating an Azure environment for compliance. You need to design an Azure policy implementation that can be used to evaluate compliance without changing any resources. Which effect should you use in Azure policy? Our options are A. Deny B. Modify C. Append or D. Disabled The correct option is D. Disabled This effect is useful for testing situations or for when the policy definition has parameterized the effect. This flexibility makes it possible to disable a single assignment instead of disabling all of that policy's assignment. An alternative to the disabled effect is enforcement mode which is set on the policy assignment. When enforcement mode is disabled, resources are still evaluated. Question 34. You are designing a security architecture for a new Azure deployment. The design is based on the Microsoft Cybersecurity Reference architectures. You plan to include a strategy aimed at effectively mitigating the risk of inside the attacks within your organization. What should you include in the strategy? Select only one answer. Our options are A. Deploy privileged access workstations B. Enforce strict password complexity requirements complexity requirements C. Implement strong perimeter firewalls or D. Monitor and audit user activities and access privileges The correct option here is D. Monitoring and auditing user activities and access privileges are critical for detecting suspicious behavior and potential insider threats within an organization. Question 35. Hotspot you have a Microsoft 365 E5 subscription and an Azure subscription. You need to evaluate the existing environment to increase the overall security posture for the following components. Windows 11 devices managed by Microsoft Intune, Azure storage accounts, Azure virtual machines. What should you use to evaluate the components? To answer, select the appropriate options in the answer area. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. To the answer area, Windows 11 devices. Our options are Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, Microsoft 365 Defender, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Microsoft Sentinel. The correct option is Microsoft 365 Defender. To the next statement, Azure Virtual Machines. Our options are Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, 
Microsoft 365 Defender, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Microsoft Sentinel. The correct option is Microsoft Defender for Cloud. To the last statement, as used to edge accounts. Our options are Microsoft 365 Compliance Center, Microsoft 365 Defender, Microsoft Defender for Cloud, Microsoft Sentinel. The correct option is Microsoft Defender for Cloud. About the options, Box 1, the Microsoft 365 Defender portal emphasizes quick access to information, simpler layouts and bringing related information together for easier use. It includes Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint is an enterprise endpoint security platform designed to help enterprise networks prevent, detect, investigate and respond to advanced threats. You can integrate Microsoft Defender for Endpoint with Microsoft Intune as a mobile threat defense solution. Integration can help you prevent security breaches and limit the impact of breaches within an organization. Microsoft Defender for Endpoint works with devices that run Android, iOS or iPad OS, Windows 10 and Windows 11. About Box 2, Microsoft Defender for Cloud currently protects Azure Blobs, Azure Files and Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2 resources. Microsoft Defender for SQL on Azure Price applies to SQL Server on Azure SQL Database, Azure SQL Managed Instance and Azure Virtual Machines. Question 36. Your company has an Azure subscription that has enhanced security enabled for Microsoft Defender for Cloud. The company signs a contract with the United States government. You need to review the current subscription for NIST 800-53 compliance. What should you do first? The correct option is A. From Azure policy, assign a built-in initiative that has a scope of the subscription. The Azure Policy Regulatory Compliance Built-in Initiative definition maps to compliance domains and controls in NIST SP800-53 Rev 5. The following mappings are to the NIST SP800-53 Rev 5 controls. Use the navigation on the right to jump directly to a specific compliance domain. Many of the controls are implemented with an Azure Policy Initiative definition. To review the complete initiative definition, open policy in the Azure portal and select the definitions page. Then find and select the NIST SP800-53 Rev5 Regulatory Compliance built-in initiative definition. Question 37. You have an Azure subscription that has Microsoft Defender for cloud enabled. You have an Amazon Web Services implementation. You plan to extend the Azure security strategy to the AWS implementation. The solution will not use Azure Arc. Which three services can you use to provide security for the AWS resources? Each correct answer presents a complete solution. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Our options are A. Microsoft Defenders for Containers B. Microsoft Defender for Servers C. Azure AD Conditional Access D. Azure AD Privileged Identity Management or E. Azure Policy. Among these, the correct options are A, C and E. About the options, A. Microsoft Defender for Containers brings threat detection and advanced defenses to your Amazon EKS clusters. This plan includes Kubernetes threat protection, behavioral analytics, Kubernetes best practices, admission control recommendations and more. About option C, AWS installations can benefit from conditional access. Defenders for Cloud Apps integrates with Azure AD conditional access to enforce additional restrictions and monitors and protects session after sign-in. Defender for Cloud Apps uses user behavior analytics and other AWS APIs to monitor sessions and users and to support information protection. About option E, for a bundle of recommendations to protect the workloads of your Kubernetes containers, install the Azure policy for Kubernetes. You can also auto-deploy this component as explained in enable auto-provisioning of agents and extensions. With the add-on on your AKS cluster, 
every request to the Kubernetes API server will be monitored against the predefined set of best practices before being persisted to the cluster. You can then configure to enforce the best practices and mandate them for future workloads. Question 38. You have an Azure subscription. You are designing a security solution that follows the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. The solution must contain guidance that follows best practices related to security alerts and notifications. Which MCSB control should you include in the solution? Select only one answer. Our options are A. Governance and Strategy B. Incident Response C. Logging and Threat Detection or D. Network Security The correct option is B. Incident Response Incident Response is correct as one MCSB control use, used to define best practices related to security alerts and notifications. Question 38. You are designing an Azure deployment solution based upon Zero Trust implementation guidance. You plan to integrate the rapid modernization plan initiatives into the design. Which initiative should be the top priority in the plan? Select only one answer. Our options are A. Data, Compliance and Governance B. Data Center and DevOps Security C. Modernize Security Operations or D. User Access and Productivity The correct option is D. User Access and Productivity The top priority of the RAMP initiatives is to secure user access and productivity. This includes validating trust for all identities that access apps, endpoints and network resources. Question 40. You are designing a user access solution that follows the zero trust principles of the Microsoft Cyber Security Reference Architectures. You need to recommend features that enforce least privileges access to Azure resources. Which two features should you include in the recommendation? Each correct answer presents part of the solution. Select all answers that apply. Our options are A. Data classification B. Data encryption C. Just-in-time access D. Risk-based access policies or E. Segmentation of the network The correct options are C and D that is Just-in-time access and Risk-based access policies MCI states least privileged access as one of its principles of guidance. Features that support this guidance include JIT access and risk-based access policies in Azure. Data classification is part of the verify explicit principle and segmentation and encryption are both part of the assume breach principle of the MCRA technical architecture.